Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have decided to do drugstore makeup products that actually work. Um, I decided to do this because sometimes the other brands can be a bit expensive. Um, these, you know, they're not like super cheap, but they do work and they're a little bit more accessible. Like for me, I live five hours away from a big city so everything that I get I either have to go there to get it or I have to order it online and then wait for it and I'm a super impatient person so I'd just rather go to the store to get it. Um, so I'll be doing my foundation and my eyelashes, lips, and eyebrows with drugstore products. Filming from my room because I have two day soreness from working out and I can like barely move. It's a good time. Getting old is great. Also, please ignore my terrible fingernails because I really need to get them done. So, um, I guess let's just jump right in. I'm kind of limited on my brushes right now because I really need to wash my brushes. Um, that's also on today's to-do list. It's a really rainy day. It's kind of yucky out. Um, it's been like that for a while. I took a staycation from work because I was like, oh, I just need some time off. You know, I've been working steady. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna take some time off. Hopefully have a nice little staycation. And it has rained for quite a lot of it. So I guess first we'll just jump right in on the foundation. So I have two foundations that I get from the drugstore, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Um, these two are actually really great when you mix them together. Um, gives you a little bit of glowy look, but it's still kind of matte. You'll see it looks good together. Um, I just wiped the back of my hand. I do have a mixing palette, but I forgot to get it and I can't get up and walk to get it because it'll take me like twice as long as it normally does. So I ain't gonna do that. So I just mix the two of them together. I'm gonna take my foundation brush. All the brushes that I usually use for videos or for pictures, um, they kind of come from everywhere. So these ones, these brushes that I'm using today are Morphe. They, um, they're the James Charles set. This one is M439. See, I really like the coverage that the two mixed together gives versus um, each separately. Although I do wear the Infallible Pro Glow almost daily if I'm not doing like a full look. Um, that's my like go-to. It's, um, it's very spreadable, which I find a lot of foundations can be difficult with. But the Mountain Poreless is great too. I use that on days that I know I need it to last a little longer. I didn't pick up a drugstore primer, which I probably should have, but I didn't. These are, and I actually didn't pick anything up for this video. Um, these are products that I have right in my house. I use them all the time. Like the the Pro Glow that I have there is almost empty. I actually need to go get some more. See, it's a nice shade. I always like to take mine down to my neck so that it blends with my skin tone. You know, it's funny. Like a year ago, I never in a million years would get on camera. With no makeup on. Not a chance. I have dark circles, but I mean, I think that's like mom territory from, you know, not sleeping for 
ears. But if you look at pictures of me when I was little, they're there too. So I don't know. Genetics, diet, I don't know. Okay, okay. I had to be really careful with my powder because I dropped it and it broke. But I love it so much. Like, I want to use it right down till there's nothing left. Like, nowhere to lie. It's so cracked. But it'll be good. This brush is M405 that I'm using for powder. This is also something that I use every single day. I use it more often than I use like um, loose powder. I just, I love it. Although it is kind of loose powder now due to the fact that it's all broken. So yeah, between between the matte and poreless and the infallible glow and the true blend powder like it just gives you such a nice coverage like you can't even like you can still see the dark circles but not as much i really like the coverage that it gives um it goes on really smooth it doesn't make your face feel wet which is great because i don't like foundations that make your face feel wet all day long so the brush that I'm using for my eyebrows is M158. I'm going to use the Rimmel Duo Eyebrow Palette. I don't know why I always start with the good eyebrow. Like why don't I use, why don't I do the other eyebrow first to try and make them even? I don't know why I do that. And then if you find you put like too much powder like right there, just brush it out. Little trick that I got from Kylie Jenner. <laughs> so now I'm going to put on the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. I still have so much foundation on the back of my hair. <laughs> so this is nice because it just fills in whatever you missed with the brush. And then you can just use the brush again just give it a quick once over make it nice and even oh, bye. so I'm gonna go with the covergirl hydrofuge uh, lash blast volume my sister got me onto this stuff when I was in university I think and it it's such a good product, like I just can't not use it. Although when your hands have moisturizer on it, they're really hard to get open. I'm actually almost out of this too. Little tip for when you get smudges on your skin, let it dry and then wipe it off with a Q-tip so much easier, it doesn't smudge, makes life a lot easier. So now I'm going to do my lips. I love being baby lips. Put this on every night before bed. Use it right before I use my Superstay ink crayon. I had never heard of this before until I saw it on Daryl Ann Denner's Instagram. She like swears by this stuff. Oh, 
Okay guys, that's the drugstore makeup tutorial video. If you like this, please hit the thumbs up right below and hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell. That gives you a notification every single time that I upload a new video. Okay, see you later.